All right, everyone, welcome back to video number seven in my tutorial series on how to make a mobile game with JavaScript. Now, I'm sorry that it's been a little while since I made a video. Um, I like recently finished up my quarter at school, so it was like finals and then getting out. I like went on a cruise like last week and then I've been sick and it's been like all this stuff. So finally, I am back home now and I am ready to make this video. And in this video, I said I know I was said I was going to cover the touch listeners. And actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a really quick video because I just want to cover a couple of things that I didn't cover in the last video. And then the video after that, we will definitely start. But for right now, what I want to do is I want to recap because I know it's been a little while. So I want to make sure that we're all on the same page and that everything is the way it's supposed to be. So above me, I have a quick video. Um, of what yours should look like. And so when you start it or like when you quit and restart, you're gonna see that, you know, every time you do it, there's gonna be your white dots on your blue background in different places. The only the thing that should always be the same is the center one, remember, because we made it, you know, the middle. So it should always be that that way. It's not exactly in the middle, which we'll fix that. Um, but so then the only other thing is, you know, when you scroll up and down at this point. You know you're gonna see that that weird like black you know line um, and stuff like that um, we're gonna fix that real quick and that's that's pretty much the only thing we're gonna cover in this video is just getting rid of that and then once that's fixed you know basically everything's gonna be good for the rest of the time I mean this is just that that's something that we can't fix with CSS and that's why we're gonna jump into the into Xcode again which I have open now and so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to jump over here where it says right here in the the uh, Cordova lib Xcode project and we're going to open that up. We're going to open up classes and we're going to open up cleaver. And then in this you're going to see this cdv view controller.m file. Just go ahead and single tap on that or single click. And now you've got all this code here. Um, we're not worried about much of it, but we're just going to keep scrolling down here until you find, I may have passed it, hang on. Um, we're looking for, oh, so this is the view did load function is what we're looking for, the method. Oh, and this line right here. So you see this line right here, and you can do a find for it. It's just self.webview.scales page to fit. So if you do a search for that, you'll find it. What I'm going to do here is just actually paste in a bunch of lines here. And these lines are actually posted down below in the description, so you can just copy and paste those in, making it pretty easy. And then, uh, actually, this is in here twice. I'm just going to delete that, sorry. Um, so real quickly, the first is um, the first two is to get rid of any scroll bar indicators from any web view movement. Sometimes you have it in this game, not so much, but like I've seen it in previous projects where you do see that. And this is also to help you with any other project you're working on, not just this one. Um, and then though this is what we're really looking for is this line here, the dot bounces, because the dot bounces is what's making it do that weird, like, I don't even know how to explain it, but it's part of the web view. Um, in the project that's like has that bounce on it and so when you set that to no that will just get rid of that all together so now when you drag up and down nothing should happen at that point um, and then of course this these three lines here I just added recently to my other projects because um, in the new you know the new update for uh, um, iOS they like there's this weird thing now when you hold down on the web view, it like pops up with this little magnifying rectangle thing on the top. And so I like couldn't figure out how to get rid of it. And so I did some research and I found just by getting rid of like all long touches, basically it, it will just eliminate that altogether. So that was a quick fix for that. But yeah, once you've copy and pasted that stuff in, you should be good to go with that. Um, and then really, I think that I'm going to just call the video now because I just want to keep this super short because I wanted to get that just get that stuff in there, make sure that we're all caught up so that in the next video when we start the touch listeners, everything is going to be good to go and you're going to be all set with everything. So 
All right, guys. Well, I will have videos out much more frequently now because I am not in school and I won't be for a few weeks. So um, I will get another video out very shortly and we will start those touch listeners. So remember, guys, to subscribe if you haven't done so and to like my videos. And I will see you in the next video. See ya.